What is an integral bridge? An integral bridge can be defined as bridges without joints. It is usually a small span structure of 1 to 3 spans with a total length of not more than about 50 meters. They span from one abutment over intermediate supports to the other abutment without any movement joined in the deck. Integral bridges are not new, masonry arches being a typical early example. It has no joints and is fixed to its supports without bearings. Abutments are cast as integral parts of the deck structure. Because of its fixed nature the bridge becomes integral with the soil mass abutting the structure and on which it rests. The advantages of integral construction are greater durability and lower maintenance costs when compared with jointed bridges. A frame abutment effectively creates a portal frame with the bridge superstructure and retains the backfill behind the abutment. There is full moment continuity between the deck beams and the supporting structure at the ends. The supporting structure is founded well below the beams, either on a spread footing or on an embedded wall. Thermal expansion and contraction of the deck beams give rise to horizontal displacements at the top of the supporting elements. But at the base of these elements there is no horizontal sliding at the interface with the soil. The supporting elements must there for flex. The presence of intermediate supports in a multi-span bridge does not alter the basic portal type configuration. In multi-span integral or semi-integral bridges, the deck is made continuous between abutments and there are no joints in the deck at intermediate piers. Intermediate peer-to-deck connections may be fully continuous, or the deck may be supported on bearings. One major incentive to build integral bridges is to create slender bridge structures through judicious design. If piers and abutments do not require bridge bearings, the sub-constructions can be simplified and designed for a more attractive appearance. Since it is no longer necessary to provide storage and floor space for the jacks. And it allows for a more slender design of piers, because their accessibility does not have to be guaranteed. Aside from more flexibility in the planning process, leaving out bearings and joints has other advantages in particular with regard to maintenance. Integral Piers and Pier Walls Integral bridges feature a monolithic connection of the sub-constructions, abutments and piers to the superstructure. Together they form rigid frames without bearings and joints, which would otherwise separate the components from each other. Modern materials, such as high-strength concrete can be used to build slender pier walls. Not having to provide accessibility and floor space for the jack significantly simplifies the construction of piers. The pier can thus be prefabricated and then mounted. In addition to this, the maintenance and upkeeping effort is much lower. Therefore costs can be reduced. The main advantages of such bridges are the reduced maintenance costs resulting from the elimination of damage from poorly installed expansion joints and improperly functioning bearings. Man-made arch bridges could be considered as the sum of the first examples of purpose-built integral structures. For lengths up to 50 to 60 meters there is evidence of satisfactory behavior. 
Beyond 60 meters the magnitude of movements at abutments could become sufficient to precipitate a pavement joint type of maintenance problem that integral bridges are supposed to eliminate. For a variable depth bridge deck, the depth of continuous multi-span bridge deck is increased in peer supports and this absorbs sagging moments in the mid-span with the consequent increase in hogging moments in peer supports. As a result, the mid-span depth can be significantly reduced due to the reduction in sagging moment. In essence, this sucker deck principle is applied in locations where headroom requirement is of great concern. Advantages of multi-span deck continuity Moreover, in terms of structural performance, Sucker decks are effective in reducing dead loads than voided slab of equivalent uniform depth for span length between 20-40 meters. In terms of aesthetics point of view, the public tends to appreciate the structural form of arches and curved soffit rather than barring uniform deck alignment. Thank you. Please subscribe us.